In exercise 9b of getting to know ArcGIS 9.3, we'll be doing an operation similar to joining tables, uh, and this is called late tables. The difference between, go ahead and open your data 9b. The difference between a relate and a join is that a join table uh, is a one to one relationship, and a relate is one to many, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're working with the same data, again, uh, the pits in uh, southern Louisiana. Again, that's site one, but let's go to lower Mississippi. The background is that you cannot have a pit within a two-mile distance of a river. So what we've done is we created here a buffer, uh, it's the pink selection area, on both sides of the Mississippi River to investigate what pits uh, are within this two-meter buffer area. And here you can see this are two. One in the northwest and then a second one in the southeast. We can go ahead and uh, uh, do our relate now. But what, So let's look at pits. Okay. You see again there's no uh, there's no information on on the, on the metals that can make you sick. Again if you use identify tool and use it. You'll see for for that pit, the information on it's a levy. It, it has it's from a, a, a parish called Black Mines. It's been abandoned, but there's no data on on the metals. We'll have to import a file. So, what they did in Louisiana is they went out and they uh, tested all of the pits for metals, and they showed it in a database. Again, this is Chapter Nine data. Uh, open the metals database. Okay. And this is not displayed, it's just in the source file. Let's take a look at this database. Okay. What's the difference between the PITS database and the METALS database is that in, this, in the PITS database there's only one ID for each PIT. But for uh, this database, sometimes there's more than one entry for, for one PIT. In fact, this PIT has has two um, has two entries, but another another pit has 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 m as many as as four. For example, this one has four entries for the for the same pit. Because of that, we cannot directly join the two tables. We need to do what's called a relate. So, okay, how do you do a relate? That's very similar to joining. You right click on the on the one you want to relate to relate from, you go to um, joins relates, relate, we want to find the field that we want to base our relation on, and that is ID number, we want to use the metals database, we'll keep it metals, and again it's ID number, we'll call it uh, metals analysis, and go ahead and click OK. Okay. Now, uh, we've done it. Let's take a look at the uh, first site. This is site 1. Is that right? Yeah, site 1. Um, we'll go ahead and first we'll set the selectable layer to pit 75 and we'll just select uh, that pit and show attribute table and just the selected. Okay, so this is now the pit that we've selected here. But we want to see the related table. So you just go to related tables. That. And again, selected. So as you see, this one pit has been tested uh, on two separate occasions. Uh, sample 1 and sample 2. For barium and zinc. And they had concentrations uh, in, in the soil, but not in the water. Um, now let's take a look at the second site, site 2, and let's see what we have there. Okay, this is the site 2, and we'll again look at the related table, and here there are just two uh, two um, entries, one for barium and zinc. Okay. 
Now that's that's how you do a relate, but let's take it we want to do it do it again with another policy and let's see how we can can find let's, uh, find this data. So how 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 do you do that? Well that's pretty simple. Um, well first we'll go to metals and options select by attributes and you'll have a boolean search um, attribute window and we'll take another uh, policy that says that uh, there should be no lead in any in any of the pits so let's find metal is get unique value this is lead and apply so as you see there are three pits that have lead in them and these are their ID numbers let's see and again this is uh, their location so now you can see you can you can do uh, you can go both ways in the first instance we had a pit and we wanted to see what uh, metals were in it so uh, we did relate it that way and the second one we had three pits we, we knew what the where the lead was but we didn't know where the pit was so we related backwards what this says is that a relationship goes both ways uh, one to many and many to one go ahead uh, let's see uh, lastly is to uh, show uh, show a feature where you can zoom to the selected features so all you do is right click on the pitch 75 layer and then go to selection and lastly zoom to selected features so these are the location of the three pits that have a contained lead if you if you wish you can also join a table the previous table on uh, on the actions for cleanup and to check to see if these pits have been uh, have been scheduled to be cleaned up if not you know why not and that would be what a person working for a department would do in an action like this okay that's the end of of exercise 9b uh, if you're finished with this, save your work and move on to chapter 10.